After issuing the first payment certificate, to move on and prepare the second one, we work in the very same way and simply add further print nodes or documents below those already present. So let's go ahead and create a further measurement from the active price list. And as seen before, simply drag and drop a measurement item over into the measurements editor. Here we can now enter the measurements and confirm. In the very same way again, let's import a lump sum work group with the drag and drop function and indicate the survey date again and confirm. Now you only need to enter the description and percentage of progress. As you can see, the document now has five items. The quantity of the first three items were paid with the first pay payment certificate, while the last two will be paid in the second. To understand this procedure better, let's look at the information currently present in the measurements editor by switching to other views. We can select the work progress statement view, where the total progress is indicated for each item. Specifically, the 49.5% progression in works for building A, which was registered in the measurement book and paid for in the first payment certificate. We also have a further 45% to register as the fourth item in the measurement book, but not yet related to any payment certificate. So this is the last entry made with regard to the measurement and lump sum works. So you have an immediate summary of all of the available measurement information. From this view, you can also access the measurements to introduce any changes. This of course applies to the quantities that are not still part of any work progress statement. The changes just made relate to the measurement item object and therefore have also been updated on all of the other views. Let's activate the print manager where in the index you can see the print nodes of the various project management documents. These relate to the first work progression statement. To generate the second work progression statement you simply proceed in order and in the same way used to generate the first. So let's go ahead through this printing procedure. In the measurement book, having set the finalized print option for the first payment certificate, you can see the range of items. In the accounting register, you can see the same range of items as the measurement book. In the cost summary, where for each item you have the quantities for the various work progress statements. In the very same way, we can also add another print node under work progression statement and proceed with the print preview. Finally, we can now go on to selecting a payment certificate and add a print node. The previous payment certificate amount is automatically imported and inserted in the previous payments list and will be deducted from the total amount of the second payment certificate. To complete printing, simply select the print button as seen previously.